नमस्ते सभी को आई एम करेंटली स्टेइंग इन मुंबई एंड एज अ विजिटिंग फैकल्टी आई एम वर्किंग इन संजीवनी कॉलेज इट इज इन कोपरगांव नियर शिरडी सो आई हैव टू गो देयर एवरी फिफ्टीन डेज और वंस इन अ थ्री वीक्स वेन एवर इट इज पॉसिबल एंड आई एम कंडक्टिंग क्लासेस ऑफ यू एच वी टू कोर्स देयर Uh, when my hod ma'am said that uh, it is i who is going to conduct the subject i said to her that no ma'am it is not possible to travel frequently but she insisted and now i am very happy with this decision that conducting physical classes of students is becoming possible for me earlier two times i had conducted it in the online mode and now i am able to observe that difference um with that i would like to share that my uh, family members include my husband my daughter and uh, my in-laws keeps visiting us frequently uh, also my parents come here my brother also visits us so uh, most of the times it happens that uh, somebody or the other is there in the family uh, when we are only three Uh, for me that is the difficult times otherwise uh, things are fine and uh, i would uh, start with the exercise 1 um uh, i was introduced to this exercise uh last year in the month of january and this is the third time when i am going through the exercises and i am seeing the difference now so earlier when it started i was very fascinated that i have to attend morning sessions but uh, understanding was very very less uh, it is just that i was listening i used to get lots of questions about everything sometimes i used to ask and sometimes i used to write those questions now second time when it happened that i could see that these are steps these are words that happened and the third time when i am doing it i am able to relate with it and i am able to recall it in the day to day course earlier morning sessions were there 5:30 to 7:30 and throughout the day very lesser times i was able to connect with it and i must say that uh, looking at morning sessions has helped me in presenting the contents in the workshop and also while i am sharing the workshop contents i was able to reconnect it with the morning sessions so the sharing sessions in the workshops have been of greater help to me when i was connecting with the steps so the first step was being aware when it happened first time i was not able to locate what is happening within me because i had this sanskar of looking at outside all the time i used to observe people situations and i used to have conclusions for it so looking at me was a very restless kind of thing for me i used to get very much affected when uh, only a thought of what is going on in me was observed by me but with second and third now it has improved a little and we have this uh, word that no reaction for the first step i remember for the first and second times in the exercises whenever i tried to look at it i always had a a bunch of reactions to what is happening in me now uh, i used to keep tell myself that i have to be at that place of shuddha drashta pure observer i just kept on repeating it but now i see that difference that now when it is happening i see that this is the worst thought i am having in me right now but this instead of having reaction now i am like okay at least i could see it with that i am going ahead this is becoming slowly possible to differentiate between desire thought and expectation earlier it was whole bunch something i was able to notice most of the things missed but now when i sit 
or while i'm working now this segregation is becoming possible but the effect of it is whatever work i am doing i become very slow with it because i am looking at it so participating in the outside work is uh, very slow from my side nowadays it is happening and uh, the second step that whether the feeling is naturally acceptable to me so yesterday it happened that i was uh, telling ridhya that i have to prepare i will have to go through all the things which i have written once you let me do so and she came to me and since evening i was telling her that i will need some time in the evening at night so you give me that time please my exam is there so let me study so she said okay But while i was doing so she kept on coming in between and asked me for many different things and i said i don't have time to look at it this moment once i am done with my study i will find it for you she kept on coming she cried and at that very moment i was going through the same step and i was able to check if it is naturally acceptable to me to have that opposition for her and i was very uncomfortable with that feeling but i was not able to decide where i should focus to my study or to her demands then i got up from the place she was not ready to listen i took a balan in my hand and i said see i don't want you to uh, meet but will you listen what i am saying and she was frightened with that gesture and she said okay so i said see i have exam i have to prepare now i want you to do your tasks very nicely whatever you are searching i am very happy with it that you are doing so let's do one thing you complete the task with whatever material you have and we will keep it aside i'll keep it very carefully so tomorrow when i get the thing i'll uh, we will complete your greeting card preparation task and she was able to listen so and while i was holding that balan i could see now i have this feeling of relationship towards her but in my gesture i am showing it to her and i was laughing within me i was like okay uh, i am fine with it it is just that i want her to listen and i am presenting this gesture i am still trying to find out ways but this happened and while this step was going on i could relate with it but now i also see that most of the times the feeling i carry within myself is not naturally acceptable to me while i do household work why i do repetitive tasks i do college documentation work paper checking when i am not able to find out the purpose why i am doing it i am not able to relate with it and because of it uh, this inner reaction is going on all the time the third step is about am i in harmony with the feeling which i am carrying at the moment so the moment i am seeing the feeling of relationship i am happy but very very frequently i shift from that place of being in harmony now it has happened that earlier in a day once i used to get the feeling now five times six times seven times i'm getting those glimpses of being in harmony that is happening the fourth step when i went through that who decides the feeling so earlier all the time it was see this person did that and now i have to suffer it so i always carried that victim feeling within me but as we went through the exercise workshop sharing question answer sharing with those possibilities listening to the workshop and you know bhaiyas and didis are presenting listening to the recordings these all helped me to see to it that who is taking that decision same situation occurring to me two times one time my response was different other time my response was different different so both of the times it is i who is deciding so this line was there in our content that 100% responsibility i have this line i could read i said to myself that 100% i am responsible but now also many a times it happens that i consider the other as responsible but now what shift has occurred is 
at that time i consider other responsible but when i relook at it at it now i consider that yes i was the responsible person so i keep on forgetting it sometimes i remember it so this shift is happening with this step 4 when i went ahead with this 5 on what basis i decide the feeling it is all the time assumptions that uh, this person is doing it because you know i consider them like this so this issue of trust and respect that i could see connect with this step that uh, because i do not have this trust on intention on the other my assumption is the other person wants to make themselves only happy and they are not considering my happiness important with that assumptions i used to work most of the times so with again listening again and again that line started revolving within me that the other intends to make me happy so whenever i click on that line the response is different but most of the other times it is the assumption that i am carrying and now what has happened when that line clicks within me that the other wants to make me happy and with that i see that other person is not competent enough at this time now this shift this third time it has happened that now i am considering the other as a kid that bachcha hai um the other person whoever is the person i consider um, the person is very small bachcha hai so whatever has happened they do not know what they are doing so leave it so this way i do but at the same time for ridya she is 6 year old i am not ready to consider her as a kid i have lot of expectations from her that she should write properly she should sit properly eat properly speak properly so this is happening that assumptions i am carrying is she should behave like this and i am expecting it so both of the things are happening sometimes i am able to consider her very lesser times it is happening uh i see to her hands very little hands very little legs and i say this age of her how she'll be able to hold the thing properly at least look at that if you are not looking at the self part so this way i when i converse with myself something happens and i am okay but it takes time to reach to that state with the sixth step uh, which feeling is naturally acceptable to you so earlier when in workshops and weekly meetings this question somebody used to ask very mechanically i used to write r relationship that same thing was not happening but i remember uh, once i had got this opportunity of sharing the content to my class i think last year and uh, in marathi i was sharing with them and i was uh, helping them to look at the natural acceptance part so they were not understanding uh, naturally it is obvious that they won't understand in the first second class so i was trying uh, to take that effort with some examples and at one point i told them the thing which makes you swastha uh, comfortable that word when i use swastha at that moment i was able to see it for myself that when i have this thought of relationship because it was thought only at that time when i consider imagine myself being in the relationship i am very much comfortable with that so this way connecting to harmony connecting with coexistence became slowly possible for me so now it may happen that the weather outside or situation outside is not harmonious but do i want to have harmony within me that i am able to ask and with that changing weather i am okay not all the times but this is how with harmony there is mess around in the room where i am sitting because ridya used to work here for example but i want to have harmony but it is not outside but what i want to have is harmony that way i started relating with it uh, when i am aware so uh, this coexistence also uh, i remember my mother uh, was a very spiritual seeker i could get her notebooks where she has written about atma and all those things she has written very well uh, 
she used to go for satsang she used to uh, listen to uh, many people and she used to share her stories with me so uh, i am a uh, believer in god but now when i uh, started sharing this content of uh, existence in the workshop that time this coexistence i started relating so now even if i am naming it as god i am considering space also but both of these things are going in parallel within me um it is not that to a conclusion i have come it is going on and i am having that comfort when i think of coexistence when i think of that relatedness i am fine with that a uh, step 6b that we have to explore within so this exploration happens only when i am sharing i am a person who uh, cannot sit alone and think of it within uh, me i become very restless when i am alone when i am with people i am able to recall it so sharing sessions have helped me for this exploration very very much that what is comfortable to me and i know that i have to work for it so with seven step, step seven a that at this moment the feeling i have is it in line with relationship harmony and coexistence so when i am aware i am able to when i am aware when i am able to locate the feeling and at the same time if i am referring to my natural acceptance that time this relation is taking place otherwise um it is not happening so this ensuring part not all the time it happens mm, very few times in a day it happens and for 7b that when i am able to understand it then i'll be able to decide my feeling so i always uh, was a very fond of sant kabir i have heard very less about him but i uh used to consider that i want to be in that place like he uh, always was that uh, i remember that story that uh, his son was involved in one um, theft and he said we can kill him very less i remember about it so i was considering how one can be so stable in such a situation so i wanted to be like that but now i understand that this process has to go through within me earlier i used to seek it from outside that it should happen to me like a blessing and i should be able to participate that so this was about uh, exercise 1 and with exercise 2 uh, i must say at this time doing exercise 1 was one thing but when i started paying attention to exercise 2 actually that relatedness with exercise 1 has happened for me so this difference i used to see that i am there and body is there that was fine with me i was able to read those sensations i was able to see those instructions which i am giving which i am passing to the body with step 3 so this transaction which is happening uh, whatever i am giving to body what i am receiving from the body this i was able to look at but i am very very weak at performing this step 4 that uh, i am not the sensation i can read the sensation taking place uh, and this distance between self and the body um uh, yesterday i was watering the plants and i was thinking of this step so at that time i was having this question at this time where i am i am doing this work am i in my hands am i in the eyes so i become very confused in locating the self where it is so almost all the times i consider body and i as a um, unit together which is stick to one another this is happening so seeing them separate is becoming little different for me difficult for me uh the se- step 5 is yes i and step 5 and step 6 are very very important for me during this course of exercise it has happened that uh, this segregation which was there 
how my uh, interaction with world outside is taking place when i read the sensation what happens how i uh, take the decision how i am giving the meaning to that sensation how i am reacting to it or how i am responding to it what is my sanskar and uh, so uh, earlier i used to struggle uh, all the time that i am doing this i understand this is not good thing to do i understand this is my reaction but why it is happening that sanskar i never was able to locate but this time because um, many of our co explorer shared it and we had a good discussion about those sanskars i was able to list out those sanskars and the very prominent sanskar which i am carrying is considering myself as the body and hence considering all others as body is very predominant and because of it many things are happening around me so uh, now what i could see earlier i had this sanskar of getting uh, pareshan because of this is happening that is happening um if my thought is not well i used to get uh, very much affected with that but now because of that step one be aware no reaction now uh, even if i am able to locate the sanskar it is like okay it is there so it is there i have to work for it but if i work for it by getting disturbed because of it then it is not going to change so accept that it is there this much i have come i have not able to solve my sanskars but that uh, frequency which it used to affect me earlier now that has reduced uh this was all and that seven step is of looking for the self space uh i am still working over it at this moment i just have this understanding that if that complete uh, right understanding has to instill in me then i'll have to understand space and i see my desire to understand it but at the same time it seems very far from me that whether i'll be able to understand it or not but i think i am going into that readiness that yes i want to understand and the important conclusions which i would like to share from all of these exercises is that my relationship with my husband my daughter my father my in-laws is changing uh meaning they are now also seeing my reactions i get angry i get irritated to them but earlier if it was 100 times now it has come to 50 so but because to them this difference they cannot see because uh, i am the person who is behaving very matured in the family so they don't know how much goes inside me and very less of it i express and that expression also creates troubling trouble to them so if all of what is going on within me comes out it will be a mess all around me but i am seeing those inner reactions lessening day by day that is happening very less at a time but it is happening and with that i am satisfied that it is happening they might be able to observe it or not i don't know but they are gives me this um, uh, receipt she says now you are becoming a good mama uh, so with that i am okay and uh, i always wanted my father to know what i am doing so when this uh, 5:30 meeting used to start earlier so he was worried about me he used to say you get up at 5:30 and whole day you are working and you get very uh, less rest to throughout the day so i want you to sleep so i said okay uh, so, so for some time when i was uh, there in shirdi for almost 8 days i did not start the meeting so he was assured that yes she is listening to me but um i was not getting the way out and this last week on the i was thinking continuously how i should convey him that this is important um, so there was no possibility of having this discussion with him but one day in the last week itself student workshop was going on 
and i was presenting a session on um this reaction response and he was sitting beside me earlier it used to happen that when i am sharing he will go out uh, he he considers all of these things as very phys- philosophical and not practical at all like that uh, but he actually listened to me that time the whole session and at the when the session was over he said i heard it today what you are sharing is very very nice but do you actually practice so i just could say to him daddy i am trying to follow it i am trying to work on those inner reaction uh, but i would like to share this journey with you will you be interested in listening he said okay okay we'll talk over it some so now that opportunity has opened for me that i can talk to him about this content i always was facing this problem that earlier when i was doing job i was very on time uh, i used to leave the house at 7:15 in the morning completing all of my kitchen work and keeping things uh, aside for ritya and my husband everything used to happen but i was doing it mechanically now i have become very slow i have become very disorganized when uh, i have to go to college very lesser time but one day i took that decision that i have to be organized uh, how it starts from my feeling that i have to try so i started preparing me meal for my family guests were going to come there were many people going to come 10 almost so i have to prepare food within that stipulated time and i could see that when i am working with that feeling i was able to complete it without mess around in time having good taste everything happened only one day but now i see that it if it has happened one day there is possibility that it will continue so there are many many things which i want to share but considering time um, i just want to say i am alive because i got this uhv session i was connected to many uh, spiritual path and all of it has helped me to uh, reach to uhv so i always thank my guru for it that he gave me this path of uhv and i am thankful to each and every member for their uh, understanding towards me for accepting me as i am and um, thank you so very much each and every one thank you bhaiya thank you uh commitments while i was preparing myself for sharing i paid attention to it that um how much time to develop right understanding is different and how much time for social responsibility is different i used to consider workshop sharing ho raha hai na it is enough but now i am able to understand when i went through these steps i i have written it so that is helping me to look at it so now my commitment is at least starting with 15 days i will sit at a place and i will go through these steps for me and uh, i will um keep on continuing with sharing part listening part uh, in the workshops whenever it is possible earlier i used to think that workshop sharing is very very important for me because i am getting appreciation from that but now now uh, today i am considering uh, that sharing in workshop is not only my contribution in society but it is actually contributing in my own development so that i want to continue starting with 15 minutes a day for me and i want to continue with this journey not only this life but all the time this is what i want to say thank you so much bhaiya uh, very honest and sincere sharing from you it has always been uh, pleasure to listen to you your sharings because i can see the sincerity with which you explore each time you have to go through the exercises and the honesty with which you share your um um you know where you are not able to see things that uh, clarity even to have that i cannot see this and i can see this that is very very significant and that acceptance that yes i don't know this i think that is always the very first step to getting to know more 
So um, what you have mentioned, if I look back at your sharing, you know, previously, I can see the progress that you're making with each time I listen to you. And when I hear you in your uh, volunteering activities, in your sharings, in the workshop, the restlessness inside that you're describing is not at all visible on the outside. In fact, the poise with which you answer the questions that people put up, I think is very exemplary and very inspiring for a lot of people. So I think, uh, you know, the progress that you're making is very obvious outside in your sharing, in the workshops, the volunteering activities. And of course, you know, in, in everybody's interaction also with you. And whatever you are seeing within, like you mentioned, the acceptance that a feeling is there that is not naturally acceptable. Earlier, you were reacting to these feelings, but now you have an acceptance that, okay, this is there. Again, that is that acceptance that it is there is um, an indication that you are observing it rather than just thinking about it. So um, these are all signs that we are progressing in the exploration. And of course, when you mentioned that um, one very strong sanskar you have is considering yourself as body. This is a very strong sanskar for all of us because that's what we begin with. We all start with that sanskar of I am body. So um, I would say that you know to get over that sanskar because it is such a strong deep sanskar, it certainly takes a lot of time. Um, but in that journey, what you are describing, you know, more and more times of peace or that comfort within, that is how you get to eventually, I think, you know, going to higher and higher activities. All along the journey, every moment, you, you can see that it is becoming that you are more calm. There will be many times that... Um, we feel again some outburst happened or my feeling was not right. And I, I am still not there where I want to be. And that's fine because this is a slow process. And as we make the progress, we can also see that acceptance for what is not right within us is the first step to making it right. So um, I would say good wishes, best wishes to you. And uh, I think for all of us, we can see that uh, again, Nidhiji also mentioned that sharing in the workshops, that has helped a lot in the self-exploring. So this, I think most of us are able to see that when we are volunteering, when we are with the content, when we are sharing the content, when we are going over the content again and again, along with the self-exploration, it can make the progress happen faster. So the very best of wishes, Nidhiji. Nice sharing. <laughs>